Hi everyone, it's Tish with Naptime Creations. Welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel. And if you're new, don't forget to subscribe. Here's a sneak peek at what we're going to be making today. We're going to be making some more Milky Way resin coasters, so let's jump in and get started. I wanted to show you really quickly, if you ever have glitter or anything that ends up in your molds, just take a piece of tape and just gently touch it to the surface of your mold and it'll come right out. So we're going to be using the Unicone Art Resin today. I already mixed up my resin and my pigments off camera um, but if you're new to resin and you want to see a tutorial showing step by step how to mix your resin and your pigments I will link one of my tutorials down below in the description box I just cut the mixing out of this video to save time but for my pigments I usually add about a pea size amount for every three ounces of resin so as you can see I just poured a little clear into the bottom of my mold here I just wanted to cover the bottom of the mold. I didn't add much clear at all. I'm going to be using the Lores Angel White Epoxy Paste and the Arteza Periwinkle Glow Mica Powder. I'm just going in and doing swirly lines. Um, you know, no rhyme or reason to them. I wanted to add the Periwinkle Glow next to the white because those two together give a really pretty, nice, subtle blue undertone. I'm going to go in with my heat gun on low just to blend the colors a little bit and actually even take my finger and just blend some of the little blobs of the white out and that's it cover them up let them dry for 24 hours and now we're going to pour the glitter uh, backing layer i'm going to be using the opulence blue and silver glitters from laura's art corner blue love biodegradable glitter and silver holographic chunky glitter from dryer days art studio um, like I said, I already mixed my resin up off camera, so I'm just going to pour different sections of glitter um, for the backing layer. And when you do this, you want to go quickly because that resin's going to start spreading. And if you're trying to get different lines of colors in there, you just want to try to pour as fast as you can. And then, you know, one color won't spread out and take over the entire mold. And that was it. Super simple and easy. I'm just going to spray this with some isopropyl alcohol to pop the bubbles, cover it up, let it dry for 24 hours, and then we'll be ready to demold it. And I had a little bit of resin left over, so I ended up filling up this mold back here too. I'll probably end up using that as like a cell phone base for one of my crystal cell phone stands. And here we are, 24 hours later, ready to pop these guys out of the molds. This glitter color combination is so pretty together. Um, it, re it reminds me of like Frozen, kind of like Elsa vibes, but check out how pretty they turned out. I love how wispy the angel white got. So this technique is really easy for beginners. I mean, there's no piping involved. You literally just make the squiggly lines of your opaque pigment you want to make sure you're using something that's opaque and a mica powder and then just use glitter as your second layer super simple and easy I have a few other videos um, doing this technique with different colors I'll be sure to link them down below in the description box and I'll leave them at the end card screen of this video if you want to check them out too so just click that and it'll take you straight to those videos I wanted to show you how gorgeous these are in some natural sunlight. They just are so sparkly and beautiful. I'm going to give these a clear resin top coat of the KS resin um, liquid stone countertop resin. That's one of the best resins I've tested to give you that heat resistance. So um, I'm going to be doing that off camera and then they'll be ready to go to their new home but let me know what you guys think down in the comments um, this technique is so much fun and they always turn out really pretty in my opinion i hope you guys are all doing good and i'm gonna try to upload a video tomorrow um, but if not i hope you guys all have a fantastic safe happy new year I'm not sure when you will be watching this, but it's about to be 2021. So yeah, thanks again for watching. I appreciate you guys so, so much. And I truly, truly mean that without you guys, I wouldn't have a channel. So I appreciate you all and I hope you're all doing great. And I will see you soon for another video. Bye.